All right, so this thing's gonna be packed. Let's just get into it. This is a property where we were called in to essentially take a very nice house, but didn't have a lot going on and update the curb appeal. We've got transitional walkways. We've got big curvy beds. We have lots of planting. We redid the driveway. Let's just start with the hardscaping. So we wanted to have an entrance where you can go up to the door, but instead of just lining it, like a straight concrete walkway, which you see in a lot of municipalities, they pour the concrete up to the house. We started a little bit off and did an hourglass and then brought it up, did a little curve and then brought you over to the door. So it's a little bit of an experience. And now we have a transition. Let's go down the side. The sides of homes, I feel like are a miss all the time. They're just neglected. There's a couple beds up against the house and it's over. We have a big corner lot. Let's cut out the amount of grass to cut and create something absolutely beautiful. What we did is we spray painted out some beautiful curbs. We went off the design that we created in the first place, always start with the design, and then we carved out all of these curves that hook all the way down to the driveway, which is brand new. We poured a brand new driveway. This right here is also new. They had a door here and it was only like a couple of stepping stones through grass. There really wasn't anything. I was like, what an opportunity to create a spot where boom, you can sit, you can look out, you can get shade. It adds a lot of feature, a lot of curb appeal to the house. And now you have a side entrance. Now, instead of just going through the back, go through the side, go through the front, and then it takes you all the way over to a courtyard where we also put some string lights across here. So now there's this like beer garden ambiance. You could throw a TV up there, you can grill, you can have friends over. So you have all this curb appeal. You've got a destination here. You now have an entrance to the door. You've got the entrance to the front door and a brand new big wide driveway. All of a sudden, visually, this house went from a couple of beds slapped up against the front of the house to a whole entire experience. That is the power of getting a design and curb appeal. So let's go through a couple landscaping tips. If you are looking to enhance an area, when you pop out a curve, I always like to have a reason for that curve. Usually it's a focal point of some sort. It's a boulder, it's a cool tree. Make sure if you don't have big trees and you got a little bit smaller trees like this one, you stake them down so that they grow nice and straight. These are lilac trees, limelight lilac trees. They look really, really nice. And we've got a lot of sun here, right? So make sure you understand that this is gonna get blasted. Sun and shade is super important. A couple plants for you. Green velvet boxwoods, little fountain grasses called hamlins. We got the limelight trees, wajila wine and rose bushes. Then we got a crimson queen Japanese maple right on this hook as a feature with a boulder. So you can see I already walked up. We worked elevations, we got some height in there, we got the curves, we got the texture. And then as far as the hardscaping, we have the beautiful three-piece set. And one thing I love to do is put on a sailor border. So when you strike your lines, you cut off that excess, you slap the paper up to it, nice and clean, no little concrete triangle wedges that are gonna break or chip. And then you sweep in a polymeric sand. Okay, big project, right? All in, you got the driveway, you got the hardscaping, you have this cantilever roof, you have all the landscaping, everything in here. We're in around the 50 marker. If you're a do-it-yourselfer, if you can do a lot of this stuff, probably not the driveway, but carving out the beds, you're gonna easily save yourself, say 20 grand, right? So when you do a big project like this, it's a transformation for the whole house. You gotta weigh that. As far as maintenance, all you gotta do is mulch it every single year. You got the cost of the mulch, probably 400 bucks to pay somebody to mulch this every year, and you're done. Let's go to the next one. All right, we're here at number two. I really like this one. But before we do, if you liked what you saw on this one, support the channel, throw out a like there and throw a comment down there. What were some of the tips that you heard in the last one that you felt were something you hadn't heard before that is gonna bring value to you? Now, let's get onto a bunch of maintenance stuff. That's what I've noticed about this one. So, 
Before we film these, let's just call it like it is. We take a blower and we blow everything off. We want them to look good and presentable for the videos, right? Like anybody else. What I noticed is there are a couple subtle little things that I've never talked about on this channel that could have been done in the, the, the beginning, the very first of the install, because this is probably over a year since we've been here, that would have made a difference. Let's talk about it. So what we did is, this was pretty much nothing. We did a lot of hardscaping here. We put a brand new driveway in, we put in some retaining walls, we put in some landscaping, we got some boulders. I'm gonna talk about some of these planting things. But after I blew everything off, look at all this. You got birds, you got a little bit of sap, you got stuff that was dropped from the tree. You're gonna have trees in your yard. You're gonna have maintenance no matter what you do. But one thing that could have been done, that probably would have been a smart thing, would be after we got done installing all this and putting in the polymeric sand, which is a flexible mortar, if you will, in between the pavers that helps it and bonds it. And it, it, it holds everything together. We could have done a sealer. You can either do a matte finish or you can do a high gloss where the pavers are essentially gonna look wet. Both are great looks. But by doing that sealer, it would have held the sand in place so you're not having to redo it every couple of years. And when it comes to cleaning, you take a hose or put a power washer on a very light setting and we could have hit all this, this would never be an issue. So it's worth the investment. You can spend anywhere between $350 to $5 a square foot. So all in on this, I think we had about 300 square feet. Let's go on the high side for $1,500, which I know is a chunk of change, but as far as long-term investment, looking good all the time, this probably would have been a good move. So, you know, it's a little whoopsie on our part, but now you know, if you're gonna do a paver patio, it's worth considering, okay, if you got a bunch of trees. So let's talk about the layout, the design elements that we got going on here. They got a downspout right there. You always want to address the water. We took this and we buried it and we put it to a grate right here so that the water from the gutter is gonna dissipate out and go down the driveway. It's never gonna to come towards the foundation. It's never gonna flood. It's never gonna wash out the landscaping. What we got here is some softness. We got some evergreens. We got a crimson queen like we did in the first design up on that little mound. And then we've got some English lavender. And look at the pops that these things bring. It's got cool texture. It's got cool color. I love the greens and the purples that hit. All in this project, if you're gonna do it yourself. If you're super handy and you can do hardscaping, you're probably gonna be in around 20 grand. If you're gonna hire somebody for this part right here, you can tack on another 15. So you got about 35 grand to do this front transformation. You got a driveway, you got walls, you got undercap lighting, you got essentially a paver patio and walkway. There's a lot going on here. It takes a lot of time. It takes skilled guys to do this. But if you're handy and you want to get in, you want to transform, this might be a great template for you. Let's go to the third one. All right, we're at project number three. Remember, like, sub, and I got some tidbits to add right here before I share with this. We talk from budget friendly all the time on this channel. The last one seemed like some big numbers came out and I completely understand that, but I also want you to think from an investment perspective. Say you have a $300,000 house. If you do a really nice patio or a front yard transformation, that should add at least 10% of the overall value of the house. So I said, it would be a $30,000, $35,000 job on the last one, right? Well, 10% of $300,000 is $30,000. So not only do you get to enjoy going up to your driveway and going to your house, but you just added value to your house. So when I say budget friendly, it might always be, not always be a small number, but it does add and make a difference. So if you do want budget friendly, here's one right here. <laughs> this is easy enough. This is just Curb Appeal 101. We are on a curb we got a bunch of streets right here we just wanted to do something soft a nice cut in natural edge some easy low maintenance shrubbery we got some lavender here got some limelight hydrangeas we kept the existing tree you don't have to drop everything it's not 100 necessary all the time because that saves money and then we've just got some little hamlin fountain grasses you come up the stairs you get hit with these nice curves and that's about it but check this out when we say curb appeal, when we say front yard landscaping, I think everybody always thinks just front yard. The house 
also has a side yard, which we talked about in the first one. One thing that I think adds a ton of value as I get hit with some water. Hey, can you move that sprinkler just for a second? Hold on, we're still working here. Right on the fly, baby. I'm gonna move this just for a second. <laughs> we're, we're siding <laughs> as we get. A fence. We got a cedar tone fence and we've got some decorative trim and kind of like a drink rail along here, but we made it tall. We kind of pushed the envelope on that as far as the permitting on purpose so you can't see in here. So here's why I want you to like and sub this video, right? Because inside here, I have an amazing backyard transformation that I am gonna give you a little sneak peek of. Maybe we'll do a little drone shot, but you gotta come back. If you like backyard transformations, this is it. This is Bobby K saying creation is everything, so go out and create. I'll see you on the next video. Okay, I forgot. How much does it cost? If you're gonna do it yourself, this front part right here, you're under a thousand bucks. You pay a company two to 2,500. That's it. See you in the next vid.